Watch you guys, got another video here for you. I'm still getting tons of uh, questions on ransomware on how to remove them and I think I've covered it enough really to be honest. So I'm going to make this final video on removing them and this is the method that you really want to be trying to use in if you can't get on your system because that's the question I'm getting all the time is I can't get into safe mode. I can't get into safe mobile networking. I can't do this. I can't do that. So I thought I'd make a quick video to show you the exact way of doing it first and then um, try to remove it in this way okay so if you have got any type of ransomware this is the procedure that you want to try first okay if you can't get into your system ie safe mode safe mobile networking safe mobile command prompt you're completely locked out there's no way of getting on the system then this is the way that you want to be trying first that's more simple for people okay so here we have a ransomware which is blocking us out and we'll try to get into safe mode with networking I'll show you what happens. It basically shuts the PC down, it won't let you log on. So something a little bit newer than what they were doing before. So let's have a look at what happens. Okay, so we're at the advanced boot options here and I'm going to try to get into safe mode with networking. I'm just going to let this load up. Okay, it's trying to load up now as you can see, and then it gets to the safe mode window and then it logs off. That's exactly what it does. Okay, so now we're back at the advanced boot options. Now what we can do is try safe mode with command prompt. Now normally this will work, but the problem with this is that you can't access your USB thumb drive or anything like that you can't download anything off the internet so unless you're capable of removing it manually yourself and um, if you haven't got any sort of programs on your system installed already then this is not going to be much use to you okay there's also the directory uh, services restore mode uh, which you can also use as well which gets you into there um, sometimes but again if you're not capable of getting on the internet or anything like that and you haven't got the tools to do the job and you don't know where they sort of reside then this option is no good to you okay this is when you need to start thinking about using Kaspersky rescue CD um, and use that okay now obviously there comes another problem is if you haven't got another computer and you can't download it then you really are gonna start getting yourself into a lot of problems I and mean, then maybe you need to start thinking about uh, a technician so let's have a look at um, going into Kaspersky Rescue CD then okay so we're going to boot up Kaspersky Rescue CD now this is a free download that you can download for free off the of Kaspersky website I will put the link in the description let this load in okay so it's going to say the operating system wasn't shut down properly and that's because it's been blocked and we want to continue here okay now the reason why this is a real good way to start is because this gives us plenty of options okay I'm just going to put this down there for the time being what this does is gives us plenty of access to the registry um, but I wouldn't advise you to do that unless you're capable of rooting around the registry and knowing where to look but it does give us a remote registry uh, access it also runs a scanning feature and it also does the internet from here and we can also um, manually have a look around the system as well and remove it manually okay now obviously you do need to be uh, competent in what you're doing before you start doing that there is a little tool here that you can use and you need to come down the bottom here and open up a terminal now once you've got this open we're going to type in Windows Unlocker now Windows Unlocker has been designed specially to remove ransomware from the system and that's how you basically type it out and we're going to unlock Windows by clicking on one push enter and you can see it's scanned the system and it's tried to remove certain stuff from the folder okay and it's found in the roaming folder 
a skype.dat and that's a file um, that's been used to cause this ransomware it's also restored the shell okay and uh, it's done a scan and removed this infection from the system so we can now close that off and hopefully that's going to allow us to boot back up into Windows um, to it so so we can then download malware bytes and other tools to actually carry on the scan okay now obviously this does have a scanning feature on it so always do use this method first so I'm going to try and reboot the system and see if it allows us to get into Windows so I'm going to shut her down okay so let's start windows up and i'm going to start windows normally and the reason why you're seeing this is because it was forced to shut down windows because we had to so i'm going to click on enter here and there we are back at the desktop and as you can see that's removed that ransomware from the system and allowed us to boot back up okay now I can see the culprit on my desktop so I'm going to remove all that crap from the desktop now we have internet access which allows me to get on the internet and go to Malwarebytes website here and download free tools to actually continue the scans to make sure everything is off the system okay so here we have our program we can quickly install this and accept that just go through the motions here now it doesn't allow you to enable the full pro version which I'd advise you to do so I'm going to say yes to that Now the database is out of date and that's okay because we're going to update it first and it should do that automatically and there you go and all you need to do now is run a quick scan okay and let that run through and hopefully you should be back up and running so that's the basically basic procedure that you should be following if you've got a ransomware on your system any type of ransomware and you can't get into your system and you're not quite uh, familiar with the registry or rooting around the system to try and hunt them out and find them manually okay that's the procedure that you want to be following and then you can run other scans like hitman pro and also empty your restore points and so on and so on okay so we'll just let this finish off okay so that's the scan successful so I'm going to click OK and view the results and as you can see there's some stuff in the recycle bin and that's the ones that I've deleted myself that is found and it also found another file inside the roaming folder called skype.dat okay and we're going to remove these anyway so we'll just go remove and it will ask me to restart and I should be restarting but I'm not going to bother but basically that's how you do it that's how you remove ransomware from the system uh, that you can't boot to okay it's pretty straightforward so hopefully that's answering everyone's questions now and I won't get no more of these questions about how to go about doing it okay so thanks again for watching guys and thanks for your support bye for now